Today, the Savannah City Council passing a first in the state ordinance that makes it illegal to leave an unsecured gun in an unlocked car. We're joined now by WJCL 22 News' Tia Maggio. She's live outside of City Hall where the council voted on this ordinance this evening. Tia, the city council voted unanimously for this. Yes, Greg. Alderman Leggett told me today in his own words that it was a no brainer for council to vote yes for this ordinance. Today, I spoke with members of city council as well as gun safety advocates on what impact this new ordinance will have on crime in Savannah. Firearms are the number one killer of teenagers and children in the state of Georgia as well as this country. And so uh, gun violence touches everyone. Lori McNeil is both a mom and advocate for gun safety. For her, the topic of gun violence hits close to home. I lost three friends um, in the course of about three years to unsecured parental weapons. And so uh, this is something that has affected my family and many families of my friends as well. McNeil and other advocates applaud Savannah City Council on Thursday for unanimously passing an ordinance that makes it a crime to leave an unsecured gun in an unlocked car. If found guilty, you can face a thousand dollar fine and even jail time. This is just keeping our children safer. It's keeping our city safer. According to the city and advocates, more than 80% of guns left unlocked and accessible in cars lead to them being stolen and used in crimes. Our report is seeing that the, the uptick in gun violence and how many guns they're taking off of people and those guns are being found in cars. Leggett says the new ordinance is about taking accountability. If you have a gun and you just sit it in your car, that's irresponsible. We want to make sure that you either have a lock box, put it in a glove box, but just put it up underneath the seat. That's not the way you want to put your, uh, your guns and weapons like that because anybody can break a window. I asked McNeil what she had to say to opposers that disagree the ordinance will decrease crime. I think it doesn't mean that we shouldn't try. We shouldn't try to save lives, try to help people do the right thing. And, and the right thing is to act responsibly and secure your firearm. Leggett also says in terms of enforcing this new ordinance, he's going to leave that in the hands of Savannah's police chief. Reporting live in downtown Savannah, Tia Maggio, WJCL 22 News. Tia, thank you for that report.